Hey everyone, this is Fetal Helper Asia Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of season one of Hot House, uh, episode number three. And yeah, in the previous episode, we found out that Cash uh, has been eliminated. However, he is still going to be there with Seven as a judge. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next and what main challenge they're going to get involved, the hotties are going to get involved in this episode. So without further ado, let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine! <laughs> Working them up like this. Lady Gaga thing. No makeup, no prep, no pressure. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, bonding with the judges. That's fun. That's fun. The judges getting in it. Okay, we have uh, Nikki and Fantasia. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Okay, we have Alex and Cupcake. Okay, we have Juju and Seven. Danny's having a pillow fight. Boy would have a field day with this. Fry, fry who? Fry Gutierrez <laughs> from Dean Wolf? I don't know. Normalize <laughs> getting head with your bonnet on. Put your bonnet on. Uh huh, we have Cam and Saint Anique. And Saint Anique is being very flexible. Huh. Picture with Nikki. Thanks to companies like Camp 4, mm -hmm. sex workers like us have a platform now to feel safe and mm. secure. So tonight, okay. honeys, you will be performing live on Camp 4. Live! Real fucking audience. Live! Getting getting the response in real time. The Camp 4 challenge. I'm so with my friend Max Connor. Mm -hmm. I have my friend Max here from Camp 4, and mm. he's one of from Camp 4. Top performer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta help give the hottest some advice today. Mm -hmm. So hi guys, I'm Max Carter as a Camp 4 ambassador, the first male of Camp 4 ambassador. Mm -hmm. Oh. So are these live streams actually available on Camp 4 if I go to Camp 4 to watch them? Or did they like delete these after the footage was done? The internet connection could have been better. Yeah, Saints doing the ASMR thing. ASMR is supposed to give you a tingling you sensation. Autonomous sensory meridian response, ASMR. Yeah, Fantasia is going to basically strip, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You like it. You like it. Oh! Oh, food. And he already has his uh, B out. I'm not gonna not be true to myself. Uh, <laughs> if I'm too much, I'm gonna be a little too much. Yeah, he was going to do the spin the wheel thing. all kind of than I usually do in my other kind of job, so uh, oh. I have a new thing here going. Good, good for you. Popcorn while he's on fire. 
Yeah, he needs to be more careful. That's a safety hazard. We're done with that for now. Mm -hmm. Enjoying this. Someone is enjoying this. Nicely to do something, but don't be demanding shit from me. Okay. Y'all don't know how to handle trans people mm. at all. Y'all don't know how to fuck with non binary people. Or mm. fuck at all. Mm -hmm. And then maybe once you get that together, maybe y'all can see daddy have some actual fun. But until then, y'all need to figure it out. Your chair just inspired the hell out of me. Okay. Oh my goodness. So these are good tears? These are amazing tears. Okay. I'm not crying yet, but I just got a little emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you're just performing. Along with the sex work, having the dick on the knee and everything. And I'm so proud and honored to have representation on this channel. Go, Juju. So is it just going up as well? Oh. I, I, truly, I didn't know who Big Day was because I thought everybody in my These conversations. And when I left church, I was just so confused because I just didn't understand of what who you want to be. And eventually, those people who really love you, mm -hmm. they would join the train. And if mm -hmm. not, the train keeps moving. Yeah. And we had a heart to heart conversation. Yeah, this conversation. A whole lot of people go through this. Similar experience. Mm hmm. For the challenge. What's happening? The judges don't know what's going on with Sapphire. Oh. I didn't tell them. Mm -hmm. I feel like it really needs to cool it down. Right uh, okay. Now. Tiffany, call me what you want, but cruel is what she performed on that live stream today. I'm sorry. It was that horrible. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> Oh, this thing. So do you want to be the judge? Should I take your seat? Or I don't understand. This is our job. You know? I'm a bitch of many hats. I can handle that shit. I set you up so hard to keep hearing the judges. Really? Disagreement between the judges is. Juju! Go for Juju. Uh, that's not a happy thing. Yeah. What Did happened? What's up, Gigi? Okay. Um, Was Juju not expecting to win? Why did I win last week? <gasps> so Juju wins, and Juju has the question, why didn't I win? Really? Which is the challenge that I won. Really, Juju? I think everyone is doing their best within the scope of what they know to judge mm -hmm. us fairly. Um, but inherently, being the only that black trans person on this cast, there are things that are, you know, beauty standards and things that are been mm. enforced by years and centuries of colonialism, that phobia, transphobia, homophobia, okay. racism, 
Yes, winning this challenge almost made me feel like I had to fetishize my trauma in order to win. <gasps> oh, okay. And like okay. I see where, where Juju is coming from. Mm -hmm. I was so proud. I was honored to have representation of our community win a challenge. Mm -hmm. And then you go and pull this bullshit. I am a female perceived female. People look at me and they see a woman. Mm. So automatically I am judged on the rubric of female attractiveness and beauty. Oh, these conversations. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I felt like it was the wrong place at the wrong time. They should have just endured their win and kept going. <laughs> what do you think about when they were like, why didn't I win last week? They didn't deserve to win last week. I'm not a woman, mm -hmm. so I should not be judged on the rubric of a woman. Like, you know, just the way the cis boys attraction, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for what we go into way, right? The topic. Yeah, and if you come out on top, you come out on top. And it's, come on, baby, like, Trans person talk to me, listen in, their lived experience. Oh, so I had to fetishize my fucking trauma as a trans person to win a challenge. When they kept going on and on, uh, all I could do was just look at them like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Educated as queer people about each other and about our community. Mm -hmm. Listen, reality TV is not a perfect art. Always evolving. Mm -hmm. This has never happened before. We've never had a show like this, mm -hmm. a cast like this. And of course, things aren't always going to go super smooth. I just want to say thank you, Juju, for taking the time to educate us. Not even for this, but like tomorrow at our park, you get back to our kids because they're incredible. And I want, and I know everybody at home really wants that Juju. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tiffany is oh, having a. Okay. Yeah, she's having a moment. I don't have to do this shit. I knew that Sapphire would be up for elimination, and mm. I do not like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dofer. Dofer's on screen. For <laughs> some information that the judges don't know anything about, so we're gonna pause and reset. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's what's fair? She has made an executive decision. There's a lot that I know that the judges do not know. Mm -hmm. It's not right to send anyone home. Oh. No one is up for elimination. No elimination this week. Okay. I just can't. Do okay. It. The next elimination ceremony, three will have to leave. Three will be up. Okay, three will be up. I was like, three will have to leave. Tree will be up. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. She really can. But it won't happen tonight. Not on my So that was episode number three. Of course, another enjoyable episode. Also, those conversations. The one that Fantasia and Alex had, like that's a lived experience for many people out there. And then also the conversation that Juju had me, uh, during the judging. Oh, hey, okay. And I also like the fact that while Juju was talking, they also showed other people's uh, reaction to Ju what Juju was saying, especially Fantasia. But yeah, I do think that uh, Juju needed to get all of that off their chest. So good for them. And also, I can understand where Juju's coming from, especially because when Juju said that in order to win the challenge, uh, they had to fetishize uh, uh, their uh, trauma, their traumatic experience and all of that stuff. It kind of made me think of how uh, a lot of these uh, POC actors, especially black actors, they end up winning all of these awards and these Oscars whenever they are part of narratives uh, that that's basically trauma porn and basically a very, very sad movie. 
And it's as, it's as if, like, if, uh, if a POC person doesn't star in a movie that talks about racism, they don't have a chance uh, at, at winning awards. And, and similarly, if a queer person isn't part of a movie that's about queer drama, uh, they don't necessarily have a high chance of winning awards. So th I was kind of reminded of that. And, and, and that's how I ended up uh, kind of understanding where Juju was coming from. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.